back with a jar video that I think I'm going to enjoy. I don't know if I'm going to be as riled up as the other videos have. But we shall see. Family argues over money on Christmas. <clears throat> they instantly regret it. I feel like family and everybody argues over money just all the time, any time of year. It doesn't matter if it's around Christmas. It doesn't matter when it's around. Just the fact that money is obviously so crucial in terms of obviously paying for everything. House, bills, this, that, car, groceries. You know, like you need money, you know. I don't know what they're going to argue over. On Christmas, maybe Christmas gifts. Maybe someone got $100 and someone got $10 for Christmas. I don't even know. <clears throat> because again, they're adding on Christmas. So I feel like it has to do with gifts or it has to do with not getting enough, uh, enough money. Not getting enough money or like, I don't know, something about money, obviously. So kind of curious what will happen here. We're going to start this. And going to open this up. <clears throat> this video is less than the other videos. 16 minutes and 52 seconds. I already heard, or heard some jingle bells here, which I was listening to some Christmas music today. It's now December 2nd, guys, so we're, we're 23 days away from Christmas. Y'all, it's gonna be good. But yeah, this is under 17 minutes. Uh, let's see if this video gets me angry. I kind of hope it does, just because I know that so, uh, the Celestial guy will like it. I got you, fam. I'll try getting angry just for you. But, um... <laughs> I'm also going to be drinking this milkshake, so don't mind me. Would you knock it off? Stop worrying. And I'm pretty sure this girl in the thumbnail has a knife. So, like, what the hell is a Darman and I all these knives? Like, I really doubt that she's going to stab somebody on Christmas over money. It's possible, but I'm pretty sure the thumbnail is her having a knife. So it's like, really, Darman? Like, you gotta relax. Like... Why is everything with a knife? Yeah, she has a knife in the thumbnail. Like, why is that? Come on, Dar, man. Chill. They'll be here any minute. My little girl's bringing a boy home for the holidays for the first time. I got a lot to worry about. Oh, damn. Earl, Tiffany is 26. Okay, yeah, you gotta relax now if she's 26. Oh, my goodness, you gotta chill. But, yeah, make sure he's okay, but, like, oh, my God, the guy's coming over. Oh, my daughter's 26, but uh, I, I feel like she's 16. Like, chill. She can make her own decisions. And I'm sure that Marcus is perfectly Like, eight years ago, she became an adult. Relax. <laughs> he's a very extra. Oh, oh, I see why he's worried. This guy, this guy's bad news. If y'all if y'all watch my Darman reactions, you know he's a bad news. And, and this girl's always really nice, but this guy's bad. Oh, uh, so where's this boyfriend you told us about? Um, right here. Marcus? Dad, this is Marcus. Hey. <laughs> oh, you can actually keep that. <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you. So you and Marcus are her boyfriend, Marcus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's not impressed. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Stop it, yes. Um, <laughs> we have heard so much about you. My name is Melanie. Just call me Mel. <laughs> come on in. Yeah, of yeah, course. Come in. Okay. <laughs> this guy's like, I don't know about this guy. I don't know. Thank you so much, Mel. Which, I mean, he I mean, he has good instincts because he, he's a bad guy. I call you uh, Papa P? Mr. Pearson is fine for now. Okay. Damn. In the house. Get in the house. Ugh. So, um, which room are we staying in? I want to get cleaned up before dinner. Oh, yeah, same. Well, you will be in the one next to our room, and door open. Marcus will be in the basement or the couch. Oh. Okay. But Dad, <laughs> we live together, and we've been together for over a year now. Don't you think that's a little much? I mean. Well, it's my house, my rules, young lady. My God, who the fuck is this guy? Um, why don't they just <clears throat> sleep in the same bed and have a door open or something so they don't smash? Like, I get that I obviously doesn't want them to smash, but, like, they probably smashed a thousand times before, so... If they do at your house in their room, well, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. She's 26, relax. I have to switch on the line for your 4 o'clock. Thank you. You're working over the holidays? Really, Dad? I'm a partner at the most prestigious law firm in the country. I mean, how do you think we afforded this second house? Second house. We'll catch up during dinner. I promise. I look forward to it. 
that that's probably what we're gonna ar argue over, but that's not only about money, that's about the job. Eggnog, yes. Yes, but I love that. I love me some eggnog. Give me that recipe for the turkey. It's amazing. Oh, yes. Please. Uh, oh, um, Marcus, he loves to cook. He does a lot of the legwork in the kitchen now that I've started residency. Mm. I'm really curious if he's going to be the, uh, uh, the grimy guy because in every video, he's the grimy guy, so. You know what? I had to admit it. I'd probably be eating instant ramen every day in the hospital <laughs> if it weren't for him. <laughs> Sounds like he got a lot of time on his hands. Uh, what do you do exactly? Oh, I'm a yoga instructor, part-time. You know, I do a few other things here and there. Okay. But uh, my schedule's pretty flexible, so I don't mind helping out Tiff around the house whenever she needs me. Mm. That's good. Uh, having our support. Sorry, what'd you say? I, I didn't catch it. I was over here. Uh, you know, I always wanted to try yoga. Yeah? Yeah. Like, watch him own, like, a business or something, and then he just has, like, a part-time thing on the side. But because it seems like she makes all the money because she has a job and then she and he just has a, has a part-time job. I assume she has full-time and he has part-time. But maybe he also owns a business or a restaurant or something. Who knows? I'm more of a Pilates know. girl, though. Oh, Pilates is great. Yes. But you need to come by the studio. Yeah? Yeah, I'd love to show you some moves. Really? Yeah, maybe do a free class. I love that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, he, he's like, pardon me. Of course, Mr. Pearson, as well, if you'd like. Well, it's a little feminine for my taste. <laughs> hmm. Um... Dad, you know who's actually really into football like you? Marcus. He really is. I mean, oh, but he's not, is he? Anytime a game is on, I can't get one word in oh. until the commercial break. That I sounds can't. familiar. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. I, I think she's making it up. Like, why is he so angry that, like, she's agreeing? Like, why is he so angry? Chill. Really relax. He's a <laughs> too. Yes, I your day. See it, right? <laughs> Both of you two. Okay. Yep. And now a football fan. That's something I can get on board with. Yeah, well, I've been a huge Packers fan my entire life. You know, I've never missed a game. Packers? Yeah, baby. Yikes. Because I'm a Bears fan. Got it. Uh, so? What's the difference? Different teams? Uh, the rivals, baby. Uh, we don't really get along. He brainwashing my baby. Oh, well, uh, hey, Dad. Just because your favorite teams are rivals doesn't mean you have to be, right? Of course yeah. not. Of course not. Yeah, right? We don't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Yeah. 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 So, anybody want dessert? I just don't know what she sees in them. I mean, why would somebody who just graduated from medical school be with a yoga instructor? I mean, it seems like the boy is too much of tease away from being bankrupt. Well, Tiffany chose him. It's obviously a reason. Maybe you should just trust her judgment. Fact. Like, he, he, he's not like a... Like, he's not showing signs that he's a drug dealer, that he's broke, or that he's, in a, that he's a gold digger using her for money. Like, you gotta show, my boy. You gotta show. You ever heard the phrase, love is blind? I trust her. It's him I don't. You don't even know him. Well, I know enough. I mean, the Packers? Really? <sighs> Maybe if you got to know him more, you'd feel differently. You can't judge a book by its cover. Facts. Well, don't worry, because any man dating my daughter, I'm reading that book page by page. And then he rolled all the way down the hill. No way. No. It was a snowball. What? <laughs> Honey, uh -huh. why aren't you dressed? We have to be at the slopes in 15. You know, I think I'm coming down with something. You guys, you guys should go without me. Really? Wait, are you sure? I mean, we don't mind saying that. No, so. no, no, no. I don't want to ruin anyone's fun. Go. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Well, watch him tell the guy not to go. Like, of course the guy, he's going to go. I feel like he's going to make the guy stay. I don't know why, though. I'll check on you later, okay? There's no way. two hours until they get back. What oh. exactly are we looking for? Any and everything. If he so much as bought a frozen yogurt on a Tuesday, I want to know about it. Mm. Oh, He's dramatic right. as hell. It's like B.O. mixed with, like, chia seeds. <laughs> At the very least, somebody needs to buy this boy a new cologne. Okay. Wait. Here. That's his credit card bill. $75,000 in credit card debt? I knew it. I knew he was with Tiffany just for the money. If he thinks he's gonna pull a fast one on me, he got another thing coming. Damn. Oh, oh my goodness. I left my gloves. <laughs> Feel 
better. I'm well. Make sure he rests and doesn't work. Yeah, but why is he seventy-five thousand dollars in credit card debt? Now that I know my instincts were right, I want you to dig up everything you can on this guy. I'm gonna bury this relationship if it's the last thing I do, and him along with it. Damn. Hey, hey, hey baby, I'm gonna run into town. I'll see you at the restaurant tonight. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's correct because he is normally the grimy motherfucker. So I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised. But because Femi argues over money. Six, okay. So. What? I thought we were gonna leave together, though. Oh. Yeah, uh, I just gotta run into town and grab a few things. I'll meet you at the restaurant, though, okay? Okay, love you. Bye! Bye! Oh. Grab a few <laughs> things, huh? You guys are the cutest. Yeah, he's he's something special. You know, I, I just remembered there's something I need to do myself. Honey, what? No, I thought we were gonna play Scrabble. Yeah. Your Scrabble's fun. I haven't played that in a while. I a game, a clue that I need to solve first. Bye! He's following him? Okay, Ciao. Is that cool for something? After 30 years of marriage, I have learned not to ask. <laughs> what are you plotting? Lion, grease, scumbag. Now we all know. We all know. It looks like. He's grimy. It looks like he's cheating. But watch that be a family member or something. And watch that be nothing close to a girlfriend. But obviously he'll think that because again, he sees this and he's seeing another girl. So it definitely looks kind of sus. It's not looking good on him at all right now. Not gonna lie. Carlos. Hey, Mr. Pearson. Sorry to bother you. I just want to let you know that I found something on Marcus that I think you might find interesting. I, I just emailed it to you. Okay. What am I looking at? Corp records. Turns out, Tiffany's boyfriend actually got sued by his own family for allegedly stealing their inheritance. You're right, Whoa. sir. This guy is Trump. Shit. Can't let my baby girl get caught up with some lying, cheating scam artist. Pull the name of the restaurant that Tiffany and Marcus are going to tonight for dinner. Tell my wife to meet me there. Welcome. How can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for my daughter and her boyfriend. They may have reservations. Marcus Henderson and Tiffany Pearson. Honey, I thought you were just taking me out for dinner. <laughs> nope. Uh, he uh, He's like, cover load. Um, honestly, like the guy, again, he is who he is. And because he's that character and he always plays the grimy bitch, I honestly don't know. Like, I don't know what to expect. Is he actually the grimy one? I don't know what this is, because it's called Family Argues Over Money on Christmas. And this is more so controlling dad, or worry dad catches cheating boyfriend. That's kind of what it seems like, so I don't know what to think of this video, guys. The, uh, the title isn't really matching up so far. The only thing about money that's been really brought up is like, oh, he's using her for money, which hasn't even been confirmed yet. So, honestly, guys, I don't know what's going to happen here, but... What exactly are we doing here? You'll see. Ah, right, I can't they tell. reserve the private room in back. Thank you. Oh, what? private room. Wait, sir. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, there you are. Dad, what are you doing here? Saving you from a lifetime of heartache. I can't let this relationship continue. Earl, have you lost your whole mind? Marcus isn't who you think he is. Go on, tell him. M Marcus, what is he talking about? I have no idea. Oh, you want to play it like that? Okay, if you don't tell him, I'll tell him. Oh, shit. I caught Marcus with another woman. Marcus, who's that? Yeah, he was outside of her apartment. He he hugged her, brought her flowers. Okay, well, look, I, I, I can explain. Oh, okay. save it. I'm a divorce attorney. That's what they all say. Okay, baby, I just... Okay, just... Everyone calm down. Okay, I, I, I can prove it, all right? Just... Hey, hey, did Tiffany love it? Yeah, no, no, no. She loved everything. I just wanted to say thank you again for all the flowers, the candles, Morris. everything. Happy. I mean, we're sure. see, it was just a friend or it was just family, like. Anniversary again. And let me know if you need anything else at all. Okay, we will do. Alright, bye. Bye. She's an event planner, baby. She's the one that helped me set everything up. Okay. 
he has an explanation for that. But he doesn't have an explanation for why he's up to his ears in debt. Trust me, honey, he's only with you for the money. I mean, he probably knew who your father was and has been planning this since the first day he met you. Uh -oh. He can't be trusted. Even his own family sued him for stealing their inheritance. Marcus. Is this true? Your family sued you? Yes. See, I told you. Okay, no, but I didn't try to steal anything, okay? I was just trying to protect what my father left for me. You see? Ever since I can remember, my dad was a workaholic. He was very successful at business, but it usually meant neglecting every other part of his life, including his health. As the years went by, my dad got sick. No. Really sick. No one else came to see him, and I didn't want him to ever be alone. No. So, naturally, I sat by his bed in the hospital for weeks. Until his very last breath. After he passed, his attorney went over his estate with me. Since I was his only child, he left everything to me. Even though his family wasn't close to him at all, and they didn't even come to see him once in the hospital. No, oh, bitch, they all come in the hospital like, where's my money, bitch? You don't even care that he died. Fuck you. Like, where's my fucking money? Bitch, it comes to me, motherfucker. Fuck you. They all showed up with Like, look at this bitch. What? No money for me? What do you expect, you stupid... Their hands out trying to get a piece of his inheritance. And when they realized they couldn't, they, they did the only thing they could do. They sued him. Wow. They sued me. That's grimy as hell. It didn't take the judge long to see that my dad's family was going to take something that didn't belong to them. So, after a short trial, he ruled in my favor. He gave me the entire... Like, they're all so pissed. Like, fuck you guys. Like, maybe the dad was an asshole to them. But let's say they didn't have a good relationship. What makes you think that, especially if you didn't, if you didn't have a good relationship, why the fuck do you think any money would go to him? And then if you guys had a normal relationship, you guys didn't visit him in the hospital, but then as soon as he dies, where's my money? Fuck you. You see, my family did sue me. But it was only because they were trying to take what my father worked so hard to build. They didn't even care about it. Oh, honey. I have no idea all that happened. I don't really like to talk about it. Obviously, I don't really have the best relationship with my family. So that's why I was really excited to meet yours. I was, I was hoping that this would be a new beginning for me. What, what about the 75k in debt, though? Are you happy now, Earl? You have been so hard on poor Marcus here. Ever since he got here, you owe him an apology. I'm very sorry for what happened to your father, Marcus, and everything you've been through. But if what? you won the lawsuit and got all the inheritance money, how are you still in seventy-five thousand dollars worth of credit card debt? There you go. How do you even know about that, Dad? Right? Huh? Uh huh. Did you go through his stuff? Don't tell Dad. me you investigated him. It's okay, Dad, guys. It's okay. I'm it's telling you, ladies, ladies. It's okay. It's okay. Really. All right. First of all. I didn't keep any of the inheritance money anyways. I donated it all to charity. Wow. That's because I didn't need any of it. I, I may be a yoga instructor, but I also own 10 yoga studios in town. So I make this salary in a month. That's true. And then I use the credit cards to buy everything to earn points, and then I pay off the credit cards at the end of the month. And I guess if you must know specifically what I... Spend seventy-five thousand dollars on. Is he proposing? I use them to buy this. You're gonna propose to me? Yes. I love you more than anything in the world. I think I should move forward knowing how much your father hates me. I'm sorry. It's not fair to you. It's not. It's... Marcus, can we... How 
How could you do this to me, Dad? Really? I'm so happy. Hi. Hey, Mr. Pearson. Look, I'm leaving, all right? Sorry. You don't ever have to worry about seeing me again. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I might have gone a little too far. Maya? But I just want what's best for my daughter. Okay, I understand that. But so do I. Damn. We love the same person. I see that now. I'm sorry I misjudged you. You seem like a great guy. And the last thing I want is for my daughter to be hurt. So, I'm giving you my blessing. If you want to go back over and finish your proposal. If I married Tiffany, that would make you my father-in-law. I don't want to go around the rest of my life walking on eggshells because I think you might be spying on me or that you don't even like me. I, you won't. You won't. I promise. I've learned my lesson. And I should have never judged a book by its cover. Okay. So you don't mind if I have a job like being a yoga instructor? As long as you don't try to get me to do yoga, I'm fine with it. How about me being a Packers fan? <laughs> He's like, oh. Now see, that's something I'm not sure I'll ever get over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Okay, fair enough. Like, like they were really blowing their eyes out like three minutes ago, and now they're like, hi, like. Can we please go back over? Yeah, we can. Wait, are you thinking local wedding? Oh no, destination for sure. Something like Bora Bora, maybe the Maldives. That nah, sounds expensive. Oh, it will be. But good thing the bride's parents pay for the wedding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to see a proposal. Okay, well. That was Family Argues Over Money on Christmas. Stay in scenario about it. I wouldn't say argue over money on Christmas. Like, that's not really... But like this ended up being a proposal, you know what I mean? I don't think this is anything about arguing about money on Christmas, like more like dad investigates daughter's boyfriend. He has to he has to regret it. I think that I would do that. Because this has nothing to do with Christmas. Like basically nothing to do with Christmas. We saw a Christmas tree and all that, but basically had nothing to do with Christmas, so I would not add that in the title. Um, I would literally just say, yeah, you know, father investigates daughter's a boyfriend, he has to regrets it. Or, um, daughter's boyfriend, or I don't know. I would just stick with the first one. Daughter's boyfriend, or daughter's boyfriend. Uh, daughter's father, no, father's daughter's, wait, fuck, I don't know, I don't know what I just said. Well, whatever, the, whatever the fuck I said before. That should be the title. But this one, I don't think it's the title. Anyways, we're not here to judge titles. It was a sweet video. Once I saw him, though, I was like, once I saw Chaz, though, I was like, oh, this is going to be grimy and motherfucker. But in this video, he proved to be actually the good guy, which is like 2.5% of the time, which is why I was kind of thinking maybe the dad's right. But again, they wouldn't make a video about that and then just say, yep, the dad was right the whole time. The guys are grimy as fuck. It's possible. But <clears throat> I didn't really think they would do that, which they did not. So. The guy ended up being good, he was in debt, but he's rich basically, he has a lot of money, he can easily pay it off, and it was for the ring. His family sued him, but only because they were, they were the grimy, I mean motherfuckers that were looking to get money from their dad dying, which they didn't even care about, so fuck you bitch, like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like, it, it's like they just waited him to, it's like they just waited for him to die to pay up, and then when they saw that they weren't gonna get anything, they were like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna sue you bitch. Oh, I would have laughed in their faces after I won the case. I'd be like, fuck you, bitches. You're not getting shit from me. <laughs> Stupid cunt. Stupid C-U-N-T's. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below. And be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this. If you guys are at the end of this video with me, let me know in the comments down below. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, again, I don't know. One person will comment, but that's about it. And no one else comments ex except this one per uh, person. Again, you're a G. So please keep it up, and everyone else, I hope you guys are still watching to the end as well. If not, well then, I guess you're not going to hear me say fuck you. <laughs> Jokes. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Deuces. Peace.